Assalamu alaikum. A very happy and blessed Friday. Remember much Allah and he'll remember you. Take peace and solace in the Quran, in our blessed noble Quran, in the truth, and enjoy reading our surah today, Al-Kaf. And uh, I want to say that um, keep yourself in a very positive and a very calm space. You can create that because it's all an absolute mindset. And uh, it's a fantastic, absolute gorgeous day today. It's very, very beautifully sunny here. I'm so, so happy uh, to see a bit of sun. Missing Cairo much. And... Um, the 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 weather is 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 something that uh, you know I do I do kind of respond and react to the weather. So for me, it's really important, even when it's grey and miserable and cold, to to tell myself, you know, it, it's going to be a fantastic day because you know Allah only gives you what you can actually manage and handle. So don't ever forget that, you know, that um, we must remain in a very positive and a very humbled state and interact with people in that manner, showing the best that we can be as a Muslim, even if we're a little bit distressed inside, to keep smiling and to keep pleasant and respond in a very positive way to adverse situations or to negative um, energies, people. Keep it, keep it positive. Don't let anybody disturb your peace. Um, just even sometimes, you know, sometimes we just have to be quiet and just let the person, if it's a person coming at you with negativity, let them kind of roll off the steam. Um, find certainty in yourself. Find the certainty as, as to what you want to be, the sort of person that you want to be. And, you know, really work and focus on that every day. And, and you will create it. You will create the person and the situation that, you know, that you're desiring uh, and sometimes, you know, when we're desiring something and it doesn't materialize, well, sometimes that is also a sign that it's not good for you. Allah knows what's best for you and when is the right time. And this is what I love about Fridays and about the Sora that we, that we read, that we recite, because in there is an absolute 100% reminder of this world. And, um, and remember the story of our blessed prophet, Yus uh, sorry, Musa, Peace and blessings be upon him uh, when he followed uh, the, uh, I think it was the angel. And uh, there was uh, lots of disasters and Musa kept asking, you know, why are you doing this? Why did you destroy the boat? Why did you destroy the wall? Why did you kill that boy? And, um, and there are reasons and only Allah knows those reasons. And Musa thought he knew best and that it was the wrong thing to do. But actually, Allah knows what, what he's doing for us. So this is when we say, put your trust in Allah and truly, truly, truly let go. It takes time, especially for us new Muslims who, you know, we haven't grown up with this kind of concept of, of letting go 100% and that we're not in control. When you find that, that is the key that opens the peace door because there's nothing really to be stressed out about. And when you do feel a little stress or nervousness or upset, sadness, just go and pray. I'm telling you, I just cry mostly now in my prayers and it's not very often now. I find myself not as tearful as I used to be. Um, I'm tearful with happy, happy tears now. And that's just, that's just an absolute blessing and a joy. But, you know, you will find your way, inshallah, with Allah's guide and with his light. Keep the rope, keep held, you know, tight to that rope that he's given us. Remember Allah much and he will remember you in the good times and in the bad times. So it's not just, you know, one way. You have to keep remembering Allah. You have to keep with your prayers. This is why Allah gave us the five, the five prayers. Um, well, actually Allah wanted to give us like a, the 50 prayers, I think it was. And then uh, it was our prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him when he ascended up to the heavens and he came back down the heavens and he met Musa, love Musa, 
Peace and blessings be upon him. Musa said, no, 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 you can't, you won't be able to do 50 prayers, believe me. You know, my uh, my people that I was trying to lead, uh, you know, that they, they were very disobedient. They, they won't follow, they won't be able to fulfill this. So go back up and ask for a reduced number. And uh, our, our prophet uh, Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, went back and uh, slowly it was reduced. And each time he came back down the heavens, he met Musa and Musa said, no, 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 go back, go back. And then he came back down again and then he got to five. And even then, Prophet Musa said they won't be able to keep it up. And uh, Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, said, no, 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 we know we can't, we can't, um, we can't ask again. We'll, we'll stay at five. <laughs> so remember, remember your prayers and uh, don't don't skip them because that's the slippery slippery slope to uh to the to the shaitan and to the wrong path so keep up your prayers and stay connected read the surah kaf it's the most beautiful of beautiful surahs amongst many actually so have a beautiful blessed friday everybody and um enjoy the peace enjoy your family and um Enjoy the surah. See if you can learn a little bit more today and remember a little bit more about the surah if you're not familiar with it. I mean, it's taken me a while to to really start to understand Quran and to remember things. Um, Alhamdulillah, I'm not a scholar. Um, I've still got lots to learn, which is the beauty of Islam. It teaches you to learn. So um, have a fantastic day, everybody. Much love to you all. Take care. And um, I'll check in with you again with another live Instagram uh, chit chat. I quite like those, actually. So uh, look out for those. Take care. Lots of love to you all.